Welcome to a new edition of Inside Look TV. Our team got to feature one of the biggest tennis championships in DC, the City Open. Kei Nishikori, 25-year-old Japanese professional player, won the entire City Open. He's the only male Japanese tennis player ever to be ranked inside the top 10 in ATP singles. The Bryan brothers, Bob and Mike, won the men's doubles, and Sloan Stevens from US won the women's singles. She currently ranks number 34 in the world by the Women's Tennis Association. Now Belinda Bensick from Switzerland and Christina Mladenovic from France won the women's doubles. We got the inside look into this championship. We spoke to some of the players and some of the other insiders who are behind the scenes making this a great event. Take a look at the video. What, what is your next step? Oh, always, like all the players, when we went some tournament, if we almost I win here, like the tournament, uh, actually I, I want to be happy to take a week off and keep training and to be in, in another tournament. After here in three weeks, we're going to be in, at the Open and we need to practice, uh, be ready for, for the next tournament. If you had to choose between Venus or Serena Williams as a partner, who would you choose and why? Uh, Venus. Yes, I think uh, uh, they are both very good players. Uh, I can tell you, uh, very honest, uh, I have a very big respect for this, these two girls. Um, actually, if you have come choice, uh, I play with Venus. This is a fun question. Um, what song would you listen to right before a match? Oh, it's very uh, interesting. You know, some people uh, listen like uh, different, like you know, to get fighter. Every time when I before to play, uh, I listen merengue, bachata, the music from the Dominican Republic. That's that's why every time what I what I listen, um, this make me you know relax and get excited to the match. And one more question: Can you tell us a little bit about your tattoo on your leg? Uh, my tattoo is uh, this is a big history. I have a little before I have uh, some Chinese letters. It's power and peace, and another leg is a, a star and safe. Um, I want to do something different. Um, uh, I get the is a if you checking very good. I have a face, and my tattoo is a warrior. Is a guerrero. Is a is a warrior. I mean, I think I am warrior too. I'm fighting every time. I'm, this is a. Oh, he's a, he's a one warrior in my leg.
take care of all the, all of the players' needs, which primarily consists of having the balls in the right place before each point starts, and uh, and to you know get them their towels and provide shade uh, when they're doing changeovers and things like that. And to you, this year you have your daughter. You've been doing this for a long time. Can you introduce us to her and let us know what exactly she's doing too? Sure. Uh, my first year was 1992. Uh, missed a couple years in the interim. This is De this is Debbie's seventh year. Uh, she is, uh, step, you know, moving up the ball kid ladder. And t together today, we're working the uh, men's singles final. Back in 1994, when I had the opportunity to work my first men's singles final, uh, the, it was uh, Stefan Edberg beat Byron Black. Uh, and I match point, you know, popped into my hands conveniently, and I have saved it, and it's on our mantle at home. And I wrote the score on it and the date of the match, and uh, so that was uh, an important moment for me. How has the experience been for you? Um, I, I think that learning how to um, know when they want the towel and how best to get it to them has been an interesting experience for me. I work at the net, so I don't get them the towel as often as people at the back do. Um, but I know that um, knowing when they're asking for it is a tricky thing to get the hang of and it's an important thing to get the hang of. Is there something that you can tell us that you remember from the tournaments that, that, that you haven't forgotten in a memory? Um, yeah, so I worked for Andy Roddick a couple years, my first few years here before he retired. I got a racket restrung for him once, but um, I'm looking forward to working my first men's singles final today. Early in the 90s and uh, I think he won the tournament five times, and so that's something that sticks with me and that I'll treasure. All right, guys, and uh, how many years have you guys been doing this and will you keep on doing it? Um, this is my seventh year, and I'm planning on doing it as long as I am around for the summer. Uh, it's, like I said, I started in 1992. I missed maybe a handful of years in the interim, so somewhere around 20. Uh, I decided this morning I'm going to try to make it seven more years because that will put me at a round number of age, which I'll leave uh, out. Tell us a little bit more about the techniques of being a bubble. Sure. It, it's important when each point begins that the person, the player who's serving has two balls ready to serve and that each back on that side of the court has two balls, each has two balls because there are six balls when each point starts. And so, and then as the point ends, the, uh, the whole ball kid team has to assemble the balls, get them back to the serving side so that the two backs on that side can deliver the balls again to the player and balance them as necessary.
I'm here with Philippe Lajeunie, the founder of American Summit Springwater. Philippe, how are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. How did you all first become involved in the City Open? Uh, through the water, by being a sponsor. And uh, Avian well, it used to be the sponsor, and uh, so there was an opportunity, and uh, we took it. Now, when was American Summit Water founded? It was founded a couple of years ago and we started distributing uh, last year and uh, so we want to be known by the public and uh, this is a wonderful opportunity, sporty and healthy and this is what we are about. Now is your interest in tennis in particular and sponsoring tennis events or do you cover a number of sporting events as well? Uh, for the moment it's just tennis. Um, I love playing tennis and um, it's, it really corresponds to what we want to do. Okay. Now tell me about your product, your water. Where, do, where does it come from? Yes, this is a, uh, this is a brand that, uh, that uh, uh, looks for springs that are, uh, when the water is so natural that nothing needs to be done to it. Uh, uh, most springs need to be uh, treated or uh, somewhat uh, change in terms of uh, mineral content or taste or even color or smell. And uh, so we have been looking for uh, springs that, uh, uh, that, that give a water that is so naturally pure that you just bottle it at the spring and, uh, and enjoy it. And uh, so this is what it's about. And in a glass bottle, the, the water it comes from a spring in Wyoming, the Beartooth Mountains uh, uh, range. And, um, and then here on site, we also have uh, uh, water in plastic bottles for the players and, and the public. And the spring is in Maine and has the same kind of characteristics. What a finale. John Isner from the U.S. played well against winner Kay Nishikori and still made the U.S. proud. In July of 1969, the inaugural tournament became one of the first open professional tennis tournaments held in the United States. The City Open, formerly the Leg Mason Tennis Classic, has since been part of some of the most innovative changes in tennis. This event takes place at the William H. G. Fitzgerald Tennis Center in Washington, D.C. and a portion of the proceeds from the City Open Open, go to benefit the Washington Tennis and Education Foundation. The WTEF seeks to improve life prospects for DC area youth, particularly those from lower income communities through tennis, educational and community based activities that teach discipline, build self esteem, and improve academic performance. Please do what you can to support them. Well, don't forget to check Inside Look TV online and social media because we're everywhere for you. I'm Jane Ruby. Be looking for you next time.